Okay, I'm going to try to make this video as fast as I can. The perversion in the translations. Okay, so one thing that never made sense to me is these two verses. And I'll show you the perversion in them. And it, I'm going to read it just like it says. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life so that's what and i prefer like esv so far is my favorite translation but they all have been perverted just fyi now what i didn't understand is if god so loved the world why over here is it telling us not to love the world first john 2 15 do not love this world nor the things in the world for if anyone loves the world, if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Like, okay, when I talk about if it's not flowing, there's something wrong. This is why we're supposed to digest of every word of the mouth of God. And then we can start noticing these things and be like, hey, something ain't right. So now what they did, let me show you this, is they... And all it takes is one character to mess things up, y'all. These devils perverted things. I'm going to show you what they did. Okay. Now, this is John 3, 16 in the inner linear. We can't even trust the inner linear. Let me tell you what these, when, when these world verify something, be very suspect because I was taught from when I was a kid, KJV is the, the most best translation. KJV is the worst translation, okay? It's literally the translation that was over, like the devils oversought that translation. And this, it took out the fact that we're supposed to keep God's law. That's why people read iniquity and it's really lawlessness. And, and they think that they get to decide. They're eating from that tree of knowledge of good and evil, thinking you are wise and, and you can decide what's right and wrong instead of not depending on your evil heart, not just depending on your own understanding and, and obeying his word. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But anyways, let me get back to this. They, they tore up a lot of stuff. And I'm going to just go here. Okay, see how this is written? People like to, to trash the codex. I am so thankful for the codex, y'all. Okay, this is codex. Um, this is John 3. I put 17, but I'm just going to 16. Let me show you. And it lets you know sometimes actually what they changed. Not all the time, but a lot of times it does. See this? See how they took that one thing off on the end? That makes a world, a whole, like seriously, a world of difference, y'all. And I'm going to show you why. Okay? First of all, God is not saying that he loves the world. He's saying he loves his people. And um, I, I translated it already. When you see this, this is the, this is not the, this, this one, it ha looks like a T-O-V. You know, I don't know Greek, but I've studied enough to know what these things mean. This is like ownership. Okay. So let me show you, first of all, what happens. So this is what they want us to believe. This is what they perverted. This is world. Now, guess what happens if you take this one little thing off? It's people. And he's talking about he loves his people, even more Pacific, his people, because that little thing is ownership. And I can prove it, even though they, it, it's, it's really easy. Like when you really start just like investigating stuff, it, you start picking up things like we're, when, when you have the Holy Spirit, God shows you everything. Okay, it's not the, this little O thing, this is the, this is the right here. And even thus, this is more like um, in this way. Okay, I already translated it. This is pretty much what it's saying. It's saying, in this way, for loved the Yava is really, it doesn't say God, you know, they changed that even in the codex. For Yava, actually, I don't know if they did tell you the truth, but I know they did it in that on the side thing they did. The Yava. So for love, the God, his people. Um, so his son, and this is his begotten or his unique. I'm fine with either one. He gave so that all the believing in him should not perish but should have life eternal. Let me tell you what, 
our language they have literally taught us lies y'all but in our language um like Okay, I can I can see my mom and I can be like, yes, I believe that's my mother. I know that's my mother. But that's not the same as believing in. That's like entrusting in something. So if my mother tells me something and I entrust her, I do what she says. I'm trusting her. I trust what the information she's given me and I, and I obey her. That's the true type of belief. It's not just believing they existed. Like many people are like, oh yeah, I believe he died and rose. No, no, that's, you know what? That is the Pauline antichrist perversion. This is why he made it known in John 3, 36, which KJV tore up from the floor. Like I said, when, when the world tells you, oh, this is the best, this is the best, this is, this is the good one, then most likely devils are behind it okay just like this little jabby jab oh yeah this everybody needs this no this is the worst thing for you okay this is the worst thing you can do but the world pushes it okay so anyways i know people are gonna hate me because people have been misquoting this forever but anyway um when you see this right here this is ownership and, and we don't talk the way they used to talk um let me see if I can show you. Like, if they were talking about their son, they would be like, his Isaac, his, um, let me show you. But it's not the, the old things, the, but they do this all the time. And let me show, let me even prove it to you. Because, okay, so they're saying that it's saying the son, but even they translated his son. They even translate, they know what it means. These devils that, that did this, they know what they mean, what it means. When, when they say something can't be translated, don't believe that. Do not believe that. See, um, his his one and only son. They knew it said his. Okay, they knew what that little TOV looking thing. They know that's ownership. So he loves his people. His people. Because remember, the serpent has people too. Now, who are his people? What do Yasha say? Those that do the will of my father is my mother my sister my brother blah 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 you know anyways um just want to get that out there but i'm working on something else god bless y'all um study y'all study 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 and it's really scary we can't trust the inner linear but i don't know like i always get a feeling when something's wrong like i just i could feel it i know it you know he he tells me things and then he makes me prove it and he's always right. He's always right, y'all. God loves his people, okay? From the, from, you know what? Like I said, never flowed. Why does he say, I love those that love me? Why does he say that he hates um, the, the, what is it? The bragging or the vain and the prideful and he hates the sinner. He tells you it's the soul that sins that dies. People have this perversion of, well, blame the sin, not the man. No, the man loves the darkness more than the light. He's choosing to do that. Now, a lot of times you're literally bound to these devils, but this is what the son was sent to do, to show us the way we have to repent. We have to have a broken spirit and a contrite heart. That's what he wants. I wanted to get in real fast. Another perversion is when it talks about um, to love your enemies. That's really not what it's saying. Like I said before, they took all these sweet words like mercy, kindness, and all these, you know, being good to people words, taking care of or have goodwill for words and perverted them all to love, okay? These are different words, and they're even different words in the inner linear. And then if you go to the codex, they're really different, which is crazy. So when he's talking about love your enemies, he's talk, he's, he's, not, he's telling you to be kind to your enemies, okay? Um, the righteous will always not get along so much or not have this big warmy heart for the unrighteous we're not supposed to but we are supposed to be kind like if our enemy comes and we're serving food that's you know we don't not feed our enemy okay we're kind to everyone 
And another thing where people have perverted is they think telling someone the truth is, is mean. No, like if you let someone do something and you know they're literally doing something that takes them to hell and you're not willing to speak up and let them know, hey, you know what? The day of wrath is almost here. And if you continue doing that, like you're really gonna wish you wanna have because hell is really not worth what you're doing. It's really not. People don't understand what hell is, but my whole, what I think hell is, is not what everybody else thinks it is. But I'm going to tell you one thing I know. It's not where you want to be. That's for sure. You don't want to go to hell. And I don't even want to see an enemy of mine go to hell. So anyways, yeah, they perverted that love thing. Oh, just love everybody. No, you love God. You love those that love God. Okay. But you are even kind to your enemies. And you notice what he tells you in the same verse is he lets the rain like come on the just and the unjust. And, and he brings the sun or I, I'm not sure what it says, but anyway, like I've translated that before. I, it just means you have a good will for them. It doesn't mean you're in love with them. Okay. Um, in fact, we're supposed to guard our heart, but they have perverted so many things, y'all. So many, but okay, for, for real now. I hope nothing else comes to my mind because I'm trying to work on something else. God bless you. If the world is 100% for it, I would definitely investigate because when everybody speaks well of you, woe to that man. Okay, you notice, I think that's why I like Trump because I knew he did not have the same agenda as the Antichrist. And I know he's just human, okay? And I don't think he has it all together. In fact, he's probably a Pauline worshiper too. A lot of stuff he did, I didn't like. But the fact is he wasn't completely going, again, for the agenda of the Antichrist. And that's why the world hated him and was doing everything they could to bash him. I saw that too. But God bless y'all. Um, Seek the truth, y'all. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you, okay? And so y'all can miss me with John 3, 16, okay? Y'all can miss me with that one. God loves his people, and that's who I love. I love his people. I'm going to be kind to everybody. First of all, vengeance is the most highs. Vengeance belongs to Yahweh. And, and uh, oh, I could go into the judge thing, but I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do it. That's a whole nother perversion. We're supposed to not be, we're not supposed to be stupid, y'all. It doesn't mean we go um, condemning someone, which is completely different than knowing what they're doing is right or wrong. We are obligated when we see someone breaking the law of God to let them know, or else we will share in their guilt. And that's like sharing in their punishment. So God bless y'all.